Let me ask you about uh, the other categories, which is the non-male innerwear category. I mean, you know, the male men's innerwear category, it has been your bread and butter. It's almost 50%, 45, 50% of your revenues even today. But what about women's and kids' innerwear? I mean, these two categories, do you see these two growing faster than men's innerwear now in the years to come? Well, uh, they are. They are growing faster, obviously, because, you know, it's on a, from a lower base. And also the women's category has been kind of a laggard in terms of uh, uh, becoming more uh, a premium uh, because the, the, there were so many brands all over the place in India. It was a very fragmented uh, market. But we see huge potential and growth opportunity in women's and kids categories. In fact, the last four years, we have built an extensive and strong product portfolio to address these <laughs> consumer segments. Since 2018, we have launched sub-brands uh, called Jockey Woman and Jockey Juniors with distinct identities to com communicate and build awareness for these portfolios. This year, uh, realizing the potential, we decided to have a separate business vertical with a dedicated sales team and, 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 distribution, and distributors as well to cater just to the women's innerwear and uh, kids wear uh, business. So these verticals are growing at a very healthy pace and we have aggressive plans to expand this business through very focused initiatives. We believe that women's innerwear and juniors will be the largest uh, well, well, we call uh, kids, we call juniors. They will be the largest pillars for jockey in our journey towards growing to become a, a billion dollar company. Mm. So uh, what percentage, I mean, if you look out, say, four or five years from now, I mean, if you had to guess, how much of your revenue pie would be men's, women's and juniors? What would be the breakup? You know, uh, we are we're aiming to for women's innerwear to equal men's innerwear. That sounds wonderful. I mean, that sounds wonderful yeah. in more there's, ways than. There, in I mean, way. you know, there's no reason why it shouldn't be equal. And you know that a lot of our uh, campaigns, uh, a lot of our focus now is on uh, trying to change the mindset of uh, jockey being just a man. I mean, even women's, we are the largest selling brand nationally by far in all categories of women's innerwear. But when you compare to the potential that we could possibly have, we are only, at, as I mentioned, at six, 7%. So uh, there is so much scope, a lot of catching up to do for women. So I think we're on the right track. What about at leisure? I mean, that's so, over the last couple of years become such an important segment for you. Do you think COVID has accelerated that trend as people stay at home, wear, you know, lounging bottoms, et cetera? Do you think it might have given a fillip to the at leisure segment in a big way? Absolutely. While you know, while at leisure has actually been a part of our brand offering right since we launched in India in 1995, its relevance, its potential to grow has never been as significant as it has as it is today, owing to the pandemic and the resulting shift in demand from well formal wear, work wear to work from home and comfort wear you know so this has led to a huge demand coming in favor of jockey at leisure in the last couple of years we have managed to recruit and serve a large new consumer base for jockey at leisure and our investments in the product portfolio with some really i mean world-class products in terms of design styling performance could not have come at a better time in fact uh, it was very timely that in 1920, before the pandemic, we actually set up a, 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 a dedicated sales team, a separate business vertical for the ad leisure business. And this has resulted in distribution expansion, uh, the footprint expansion among uh, retailers, e you know, even during the uh, pandemic, coming from not just new apparel stores, but even uh, the store, existing innerwear stores who, have not, who are now starting to carry at leisure because of this demand that has been created and uh, discovered. And also, you know, the, we, we have e uh, exclusive business outlets and we have a new retail identity, which allows us to hang more of the garments because of our uh, at leisure. 
Uh, so this new uh, EBO identity lends itself beautifully to showcase and retail our range of uh, at leisure products. And that's very significant because we now have a thousand uh, EBOs across the country. So it's a great platform to display the kind of variety we have, which pre-COVID was not really discovered. So we're very confident that with the increased demand, uh, expansion and distribution, you know, and continuing to produce new products and styles, at Leisure will continue to give us very healthy growth year on year. Today, it's already close to, to around 30% of the brand's business.